Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I find the volume of rectangular prisms? So a rectangular prism is a shape that has six rectangular faces where the opposite faces are parallel and congruent. Rectangular prisms are special because any two of the opposite faces can be used as the bases. You just have to make sure whatever you use as the bases that you're using the height as the distance that connects the bases. And remember to find the area of a rectangle, we're gonna multiply the base and the height of the rectangle, which you'll need to use for the formula. The formula for the volume of a rectangular prism is V equals capital B times H, where that capital B is the area of the base. So to find the volume V, we will take the area of the base, the area of that rectangular base, which we'll do BH to find, and we will multiply it by the height of the prism. I am going to be shading the bases green and then I'll be circling the height in pink. So let's go ahead and do that here. The base can be any of the opposite faces. I could use these as the base. If I'm gonna do that, then this needs to be the height. I could use the bottom and the top as the base. If I'm gonna do that, then this distance needs to be the height. And you could even use the front and the back as the bases. You just need to make sure that you use this distance connecting the front and the back as the height. I'm going to use the sides for this picture right here. I'm going to use those as the bases, which then would make the distance between them right here the height. So again, to find the volume of a rectangular prism, we're gonna multiply the area of the rectangular base that we'll shade in green, or I'll shade in green, and then multiply it by the height of the prism. So very first thing you want to do is identify your bases and your height. On this one, I'm going to use the bottom and the top as my bases. And then that makes my height 13. So to find the volume of a prism, I'm gonna do V equals capital B times H. And remember, B is the area of that green base that I just shaded. For this one, I'm gonna draw out a picture of the rectangular base. It is a six by seven rectangle. So to find B, the area of the base, I'll do six times seven which is 42. So to find the volume, I'm gonna do 42, my base, times that height of 13 that connected my bases. And now I'm gonna multiply 42 times 13. And I get that the volume of this shape, the area of the base times the height, is 546, and this would be centimeters cubed, because the volume is the amount of 3D space that would fill that shape. Okay, let's look at this next one. It says find the volume of the rectangular prism. Very first thing we want to do is decide our bases. So this time I'm going to use the sides as my bases, which means that 22 is the height. So I'm going to find the volume by doing area of the base times the height. So first thing I want to do is find capital B area of the base by multiplying the base and the height of that rectangle. So it's gonna be four times 1.5. So the area of the base is six. So to find the volume, I just found the area of the base, it was six, and now I'm gonna multiply that by the height of 22. So I just need to do six times 22 to find the volume of this shape. and the volume of this shape will be 132 inches cubed. Okay, let's look at number three. First thing I want to do is identify the base and the height. This time I'm gonna use this side and this side as my bases, which makes six or sorry, eight, the height, because that's connecting my bases. 
So now I need to do the area of this because the volume of a rectangular prism can be found by doing the area of the base times the height. So I need to find the area of the green base first. And this length is the same as this one right here, so it's three. So I need to do 14 times three to find the area of the base. And 14 times three is 42. So the area of the base is 42. So to find the volume, I will do 42 times the height, the distance between the two bases, which was eight. So now I'm gonna find the volume by doing 42 times eight. And I get that the volume is 336 yards cubed. Okay, another rectangular prism I'm gonna find the volume of by doing the area of the base times the height. So let's recognize our bases first. I'm gonna use the bottom and the top as my bases this time, which means I need to use 15 as the height. So the first thing I need to do is find capital B, the area of that base that I shaded. So I'm gonna do seven times five. And I get 35 for the base. So to find the volume, I will do the area of the base, which is 35, times the height, which is 15. So I just need to do 35 times 15 to find the volume. And I get that the volume of this prism is 525 feet cubed. Okay, number five says the volume of a rectangular prism is 468 meters cubed. The area of the base is 36 meters squared. What is the height? So let's write out our formula. It is V equals BH. And then let's write out what they gave us. So they told us the volume is 468 meters cubed. They gave us capital B, the area of the base, is 36 meters squared. So capital B is 36. And they are asking us, what is the height? So I can set up an equation with this information and then use that equation to solve for the missing height. So the volume, like I found, was 468 equals the area of the base was 36. And then the height is what I'm looking for, so I'm gonna leave it as H. So the last thing I need to do to identify H is just undo this times 36. So I'm gonna divide by 36. So 468 divided by 36 will tell me the height of this prism. So the height of this prism is 13 meters. Okay, let's look at number six. Joey purchases an aquarium in the shape of a rectangular prism for his turtle. The aquarium measures 24 inches long, eight inches wide and 10 inches tall. Joey fills the aquarium halfway with water. How many cubic inches of water are in Joey's aquarium? So we need to find the volume and then the keyword is halfway. We only want half of the volume. So after we find the volume, we're gonna divide it by two. So let's start by finding the volume of his aquarium. That's a rectangular prism. So I need to do the area of the base times the height. So I'm gonna go ahead and use 10 as the height since they told us that it's 10 inches tall. And then that means that 24 and eight make up my base. I'm gonna draw out the base here. It would be an eight by 24 base. So to find the base, 
the area of the base, I'm going to do 24 times 8. And I get 192 for the area of the base. So to find the volume of the whole aquarium, I would take the area of the base, which was 192, and multiply it by the height of 10. So that means the volume of the whole aquarium is 100 or 1920. Now remember, I only wanted half of the volume because we're only filling it halfway. So now I'm going to divide this by two to determine the volume that it would take to fill up half of it. So the volume that it would take to fill up half of the aquarium would be 960 inches cubed.